Autumn arrived in Ireland earlier this year with gusty introduction. The chestnut trees had blushed in the colors that mirrored a paintbrush flushing. Oktoberfest was in the hometown of the countryside of the drunkest of drunkest. The ruggedness of the most rambunctious bunch who ever chugged from a cupeth cometh to this pub tonight to prove to the world's best drinkers they could guzzle their hundreds without their guts budging and erupting in suds and other consumption bucket by bucket brought to each table by your young waiter lugging and lugging the Irish man presented a toast mumbling something into the disruptive ruckus which was drowned out by the crashing thuds of clashing mugs inside the dungeon's luncheon thugs with grudges pounding pumpkin and belching belt buckles loose with overrunning glutton the tourist had down 38 beers without hiccuping or adjusting his button two rules being enforced by the judging public contestants were getting their stomachs pumped and being rushed with concussions from uppercut punches from locals with disgusting toughness and dysfunction in their blood in the bathroom flooded with piss you could smell as the stalls flushed with suction pouring into the river years of urine from rusted plumbing the residing champion had won and won until his liver was blood and pus and wasn't thumping a dull, numb, lulling as he drank his 40th beer to a crowd's triumphing hushing. The tourist reluctant to hammer the next round shrugged when asked for the next dozen buzzing. He sat on his buttocks and blacked out as the rumpus in the room reached an eardrum conundrum. The custom was for out of towners to drink until they were done. Fumbling, funneling, bumbling. How many fingers am I holding up again? Fucked up, stumbling bumpkins, husbands and lushes, sitting side by side with one another in their rut of repugnance. The local legend had downed the Victorian sized tub and burped up bubbling but not before he shut his mouth setting down chunks of nuggets the busboy ran out without gloves prepared to scrub into the dustbin the judges couldn't find a spot on the floor deducting him for bluffing on chubbing Smudgeless, the bus boy proclaimed, touching the floor, there was nothing but dust, and the two continued to drink until their stomachs sponged with the fungus, until their hearts content, their livers quiver, their lungs corruption, barreling through life, what a trudge through mud. In Ireland, we have a saying amongst the scuttered in the slums, when you die, we want you to decompose in the barrel of porter and have it served in all the pubs in Dublin. <laughs>